Hi, my lovely Virgos. Happy birthday to you. Tonight we're doing a very short, sweet message for the month of September. So if you're new to my channel, please click like, share, and subscribe. Virgo, listen, there's a king of swords showing up here, male or female energy. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is incredibly uh, addicted to you obsessed with you at this time. This person feels to me like they can't let you go. They feel bound and chained to you. Um, even if you're not together, this person, you are on their mind constantly, all that they think about at this time. And this person is working tirelessly to try to rebuild all that was destroyed. So if you were involved with this person, or you know who this is, and it doesn't have to be an air sign, but the truth is with them, they want to work on rebuilding after a tower moment or after a very destructive, uh, a fallout, I'm feeling like a fallout, okay? Um, and everything that this person is doing in their life is coming from thoughts and feelings about you. So their work, trying to make money, trying to rebuild. Um, some of them are tearing down an old home and rebuilding a home. They want to show you or to be able to buy a new home. Um, there, I'm feeling some commercial real estate as well. I'm picking up here. Um, yeah, this person is like never going to let you go. But if this person has a tendency towards some kind of like narcissism or something along those lines, be careful. Um, or if they just have some type of personality or they're spiritually disordered of some sort, they may be someone who has a tendency to build, 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 and then destroy. So that feels like love bombing, devalue, discard. Okay, so some of you are like, yep, you know, you may know who this person is. Let me just tell you that um, I see in the month of September, there's going to be some new beginnings here with this person. If you let go of this person, or you walked away, or you're done, oh, they're going to be showing back up with an apology. Okay, this person is very physically attracted to you. So there's going to be a lot of passion, new beginnings and passion, or they're going to try to be more physically, um, more physical with you if they can. That's what their hopes are. That's what their, their, their potential, they see that uh, they want that opportunity. Um, but the outpouring of, of their physical passions towards you, it feels like, um, they're very insecure and they may, this person may express themselves strictly through physical passion. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like this person, oh goodness, if they, I don't know if they have a child or you have children together, but, um, they come in kind of like, they have it like this crush, like you're somebody that they can't stop thinking about or forget about. And, um, there's just they just so much admiration for you like <laughs> it's like you see the two aces that's like oh, the one one the 11 11 11 and I kind of feel like that this person they feel like you are it for them so expect an apology from this person in September um, because they're gonna try to you know bring some new ideas or new plans or um, bring some clarity to why things fell apart. I want to tell you that I don't see anything here in regards to deceit except for the devil card. So you might want to be very careful if somebody is showing up in your life, even if this isn't somebody you know, this could be somebody new because we have two aces. Um, just be very careful. Take your time with this person. Don't run don't jump in with them right away. If this is somebody new that you meet, they might make some kind of, you, you'll get a text message of some sort. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, something like very sweet 
Um, in other words, like tell you that you're so cute or you're so pretty. And this is kind of like, it's like a lube job. <laughs> this person's kind of like um, grease in the pan before they put their meat down on it. <laughs> I'm a five-year-old. So yeah, Virgo, I just, I do feel like, you know, even if this is someone from your past, somebody that you may have known before, you're definitely going to be hearing from them. Um, I feel like when something has ended with their work or a commitment that they are in, they'll be returning in September, reaching out. Um, I feel like this energy will play out between September 15th and 16th. You, you may be hearing from them. Okay. And if this is even somebody new, you may have already been talking to them like this person, just so you know, past person, new person. I mean, very physically like wants to be intimate with you, very attracted. Just they, they have like an obsessive kind of way about them. Um, we also have Capricorn, um, Aries, Scorpio. We have Libra, right? Gemini, Aquarius. Looks like just about everybody's here. Pisces, um, Sagittarius, and Leo. Okay, so keep, oh, also Virgo. Um, yeah, so keep your eyes peeled. There's definitely somebody showing up here between the 15th and the 16th of September. Um, maybe even a happy birthday wish of some sort coming in. Um, but yeah, just keep your eyes open because I feel like this person is that devil card. I mean, all the other cards, not so bad, but that devil card is like self-indulgence, you know? Um, yeah. So I'm going to leave that for you. Leave their message here for you. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Take care.